Hello everybody, what is going on? Jimmy here back with another video. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today, my friends, we have some more information on Pokemon Legends Arceus and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, everybody. And all this news is coming to you all from Central Pokemon League, so shout out to them. I will link their Twitter uh, in the description below if you want to check that out because that is where I'm getting all this information from. I just wanted to bring you all the news here. But before we get started with that, if you are not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell, like the video, and comment down below when the video is over your thoughts on everything we discussed today. So Central Pokemon Leaks has said that the next information for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl won't be released until June, everybody. And this is coming from Keldeos. They're just basically repeating this information. So we won't know anything new about Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl until June. When it comes to Pokemon Legends, the footage shown in the Pokemon's Presents was captured from a build of December 2020. And I have a lot to say about this, everybody, because we know that it didn't look all that great, everybody. It didn't look horrible by any means, but it just didn't look up to snuff, and it didn't look like it was taking full advantage of the Switch's hardware. It looked like it was struggling a little bit to run on the Switch's hardware, actually like an opposite, and for graphics that really weren't that great, kind of a bad frame rate, kind of bad graphics, it makes you wonder, was it just poorly optimized at the time, and I think that's probably what it was. There were some people who had theories that the open world and everything was giving it a problem, but look at a game like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Pretty great looking game, even for today's standards because of its art style, at least I think so. So I think that they're going to get it before release. And when it comes to Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, we have some more information on that. The bulk of the game is finished, they are currently polishing it graphically and fixing the bugs. The footage shown from the Pokemon Presents is a January build, so that was actually a pretty recent build everybody, so that is something you need to know about as well so that one's probably going to look pretty close to what we actually see there when it comes to legends arceus on the other hand that was a build from a long time ago to begin with and number two that game isn't coming out until a far amount of time from now they also said pokemon brilliant diamond and shining pearl release dates already set pokemon legends date is still undefined but should be defined later this year says that Nintendo has another big game for early 2022. So basically besides that, they already have a game set for early 2022. Is this Breath of the Wild? Is this Splatoon 3? We don't really know just yet everybody, but the one thing we do know is the fact that if they already have a game set in stone, then there's a good chance that it isn't coming out until the end of the year if they have nothing for that. Now keep in mind that release dates are always subject to change, and especially with the C word going on right now, it's very, very difficult for these developers to get done what they need to get done, everybody, because it just makes life horrible having to try to work around all these different regulations and stay-at-home orders and all this stuff. It's becoming increasingly hard to develop games, everybody. And even though some people have went to work, a lot of companies still have not fully went to work yet all over the world. So there's that to worry about as well as to when will they all be back to work and be back in doing stuff in what they're supposed to be doing and developing their games. I kind of have some interesting things to say about the whole Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl being almost done. To me personally, it looked like it was almost done. Like I always say on this channel, I really don't consider these games remakes. Even if they have new features, everybody, they're basically just high resolution ports. I am really happy with the direction that they were taken in terms of the art style. I was kind of iffy on it when I first saw it. I would have preferred them went sword and shield style, but I don't think it looks bad at all. And I think people are definitely blowing it out of proportion, everybody. And I think that it's not that bad. I really don't think it looks that bad. And when it comes out, everybody's just going to buy it anyway. So it doesn't matter really what it looks like. And it's a nice way to introduce the new generation of people to the Sinnoh region because let's be realistic here, they weren't going to be able to play those older games we played when we were young just because the fact that a lot of them don't have DS's, a lot of them don't have 3DS's, you know? You think about well, the 3DS is a fairly new console, you can easily get one. They're selling out all over the place and they're no longer in production. So getting a 3DS in a couple years from now is going to be proving itself increasingly difficult. That's why if you need a 3DS, I'd recommend getting one now. There's a lot of great Shin Megami Tensei games on there. If you have not played them, I'd recommend playing them. But everybody, not to veer off topic, basically, I think that all this information does make sense. Kelios or Keldios, however you say it, was pretty much their main source for all this information, so shout out to them as well over on that Twitter account because they, Centro basically took a lot of their information and just kind of repeated it, although some of it I think was new. So overall, shout out to everyone who helped make that post. Shout out to everything going on with that. 
And that's all we have to talk about in this video. I don't think that we're going to see Legends Arceus early next year. I really don't. And honestly, I wouldn't care because truthfully, I think that Game Freak needs to take their time with it and make sure it's absolutely perfect. They have a lot to prove with this game. If it sucks, people are going to be really, really mad. Anyways, thanks for watching. Jimmy out of here.